so as you can see, I have modified the hello world example to store the data into the data store. In order to use the data store, uh, we need to input the module. Okay, that is, uh, we need to input this module from google.appengine.txt import mdb. We will be using mdb to store the data. So, as you can see, there are two classes. Uh, one is class called store, and another is main handler, which uh, we have seen in the hello world example. And there is another class called main handlers. And in, instead of calling uh, to the like self stored response with output write, instead of writing hello world, I am calling HTML. That is, this is a simple form. If you take the input, that is school name, and then there is a submit button. So on submit, uh, I have asked the action to be v slash confirm. So when you press uh, submit into the HTML form, it will look for the slash confirm action. So as you can see on slash confirm, I have asked it to go to the main handlers. So first we will look at the DB model. So if you visit the Python documentation, it is given here. An application defines a data model by defining a class as subclasses model. So we define a data model. In this case, this is our data model called story. Sorry, subclass. It is. Uh, we define this class. That subclass is a model class. Okay. So this confusing, isn't it? So we'll get it again. An application defines a data model by defining a class that is story in this case. That supplies this model. So this model story has properties. That is, they have class attributes and property class instances. For example, what does the story consist of? It consists of a title and a body. Now, and when the story was created. So in that case, we can define the model. So in our example, school is the model. Which is our model, user defined model, that subclasses model. So, school consists of uh, properties, which is school name. Okay, so this is our school name. So, then an application creates a new data entity by instantiating the subclasses of the model class. Then, properties of an entity. This entity is nothing but story in this case okay can be assigned using attributes of the instance or as keyword arguments to the constructor so here they have defined the constructor so we have also declared a constructor in that is school this is our school entity so in order to make any changes to this property we need to define a constructor and then Edit the properties using this. So we have uh, created the constructor and then we can edit the name. First, what we do, we take the input from the form. This is the form, as you can see this name, and then it is stored into the variable name. And this name I am assigning to this property of the entity school. Then what I say, I put this data which I received from the form into the data store okay after that i will tell the details are entered into the data store okay so let's see how that works this is our local host ATAP. this is my form so in this school i give the school name Florida high school then what i do I submit the details are entered into the data store. As you can see, this is our admin port 8000. So you can see the whether the data has been stored into the data store. This is my school. Oops. School list entities. 
as you can see this is my data Loyola High School so this is how you store the data into the data store so I will just explain the how to trace this program so what we did we took the input here then then on submit I have redirected it to the action class called action called slash confirm. So that I have handled here using the web uh, WSGI application. So on slash confirm, I have redirected it to the main handlers class. In main handlers class, it will take the input, then define a constructor, then store that input that is name into the entities property that is full name so then I am writing it to the database using school.put after successfully storing the data into this data store I am giving the user that acknowledgement that the details are stored into the data store so this is how to store the data into the data store so don't forget to import this NDB as we have used NDB model. So this tool, our user defined model subclass is this model. And then we have changed the property of this entity or our user defined model using a constructor. And then we have stored our input accordingly. Okay. So we can try another one. Saint Michael's High School. Okay. Details are entering to the data store. We will just refresh it. You can see Saint Michael's High School. So, thanks for watching. Uh, for any doubts, please just the comment section. Kindly subscribe. Thank you.